Okay, today we're talking about linear fluorescent lamp holders, sometimes referred to as tombstones. Have you ever seen this happen? Or found a broken lamp holder? If you have, you want to replace it. It's a fire hazard and safety hazard. The good news is they're cheap, readily available, and quick and easy to replace. Woo! Few things to note. This is a shunted bi-pin lamp holder. What that means is the two contacts are connected internally. This is a non-shunted bi-pin lamp holder. What that means is the two contacts are not connected internally. And you can see they look slightly different. Now, if you're going to be retrofitting your existing fluorescent light fixture with LED tubes, a few things to note. You want to read the manufacturer's instructions. Some of these LED tubes can work with your existing ballast. However, some of these LED tubes require that you bypass the ballast. Also, you see this LED tube here you land your neutral wire on that neutral pin and your hot wire on the hot. However, some of these LED tubes, you land your neutral wire on one side and then your hot wires on the other side. So just make sure you read the wiring diagram before you retrofit LED tubes. Wow. And on these lamp holders, some of them are short and some of them are taller. So just make sure you get the proper size. Also, you can buy replacement single pin plunger style lamp holders like this. Again, I'd recommend replacing them in pairs and they're readily available, inexpensive, easy to replace. You can also find these high output and very high output plunger style lamp holders. So these three styles we just went over are probably the most common you're gonna find in office buildings, shops, etc. There are other styles, but these are the most common. And again, even for the smaller diameter T5 fluorescent tubes, here's what their tombstone or lamp holder looks like. And we compare that to a T8 or T12 lamp holder. You can see the T5 lamp holder is smaller. So here again, it's important to make sure you get the proper size. Is it shunted, non-shunted? Get the proper type. Is it single pin or bi-pin? Something to note, safety-wise, uh, this is an ideal push-in wire connector. Uh, you can buy a five-pack for $7.48 at Lowe's. Uh, these meet the new NEC 410.13 and 410.73 code for non-residential fluorescent luminaires for both uh, new installs and retrofit. And they're touch safe. It's basically like a little two-piece plug and you can see in this bottom graphic, your black hot wire goes into the black port and your white neutral goes into the white port and you're able to unplug uh, that fixture when you go to replace a ballast. So say for example, you're doing work in a hospital where you can't shut the power off to the entire floor or to that suite or to that room for those lights for some reason because it's a, a essential circuit etc then you can unplug this connector to safely replace that ballast but still keep the other lights on also again if we're going to retrofit a fluorescent light fixture to leds we also need to make sure we affix a label like this 
uh, where it says, you know, warning, this fixture has been modified. Use only LED tubes. Do not use fluorescent tubes. Uh, some LEDs are not dimmable. So again, just make sure you put that label on there so the next guy after you knows, hey, there's the ballast has been bypassed or there's no ballast. This only runs on LEDs. I hope this information helps you. Please like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment, and thanks for watching.